Howdy all you users out there. Welcome back to DIY Annette. It is 54 degrees and partly sunny here in beautiful rural Avella, Pennsylvania. The time is 1.13. Time for another quick tip. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube of uh, various construction people building houses and uh, DIYers doing projects and I noticed that almost nobody adjust the depth on their circular saw. As you know, the plate on the bottom, or the base, moves up and down. Okay, if you leave it at full depth all the time, which is seems to be pretty common, uh, this causes some problems. When you cut, the blade guard tends to hang up on the work, and it's hard to get the uh, saw past that point. You have to put quite a bit of pressure on it, and that does two things for you. First of all, it's less safe because if you're leaning into the saw that a lot, it's more likely to uh, catch and kick back at you. It's also very difficult to uh, make an accurate cut when you're putting that much pressure on it. The blade should be doing the work. So what you want to do is adjust the saw so you have the thickness of the material and make sure the blade, the uh, gullets, the uh, uh, bottom of the uh, grooves in the blade where the teeth are, make sure they're completely exposed. And that's all the blade you need to go through it. So if you lock it at that point, let me see if I can show this to you. It's a little tricky with uh, trying to do this one-handed. But um, You see, that's more than enough to properly cut with that. So adjust the blade to the thickness of the material. It's just much safer, and it just makes a, uh, get a lot better cuts out of it. So, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you next time.